Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So before I jump into this video, I just need to say a few things quickly first. I'm not a dietitian or health professional of any kind. I have struggled with body image and food restrictions in the past. And in this video, I simply just wanna share how I overcame them with you. Please note that this video isn't just about losing weight, but it's about changing our perspectives and introducing love, happiness, and enjoyment back into our lives. Through this video, I do not want to encourage overtraining or food restrictions. So if you have struggled with those issues in the past or are currently struggling with them, maybe just pause this video and come back at a later date. I want to make this video to help people, but it might just not be the right time for you. Okay, so let's jump straight into this video. Unless we're athletes, a lot of us consider going to the gym to be a chore or something that we have to do to be able to eat cake tonight or drink on the weekend. We are constantly told that exercise is good for us and that it will make us feel good, but does it? When you have to force yourself to the gym, do you feel good afterwards? Or do you feel good when you're eating that chocolate as a reward for going to the gym? There is a difference. If you're exercising or eating from a negative place, chances are everything surrounding that area of your life will be tainted by that negativity. I'll use going to the gym as an example. If you don't like your body and maybe want to tone up, you may decide you wanna to go to the gym. Only problem is you never actually feel like going to the gym and most of the time you dread going. So when you do get there, you're kind of just running out the clock not pushing yourself as hard as you could because simply you're not enjoying it and let's be real, you don't wanna be there. And when you finally do get to leave, you may reward yourself with food for pushing through and going to the gym, but chances are if you're in this more negative headspace, you're probably not gonna be feeling like a salad. If we approach something from a negative perspective, it will most likely be a negative. And it can be really, really hard to change that negative into a positive. But what if you didn't ever actually have to go to the gym? What if you could fall in love with exercise? I used to swim competitively. From the ages of eight to 16, swimming was my whole life. I trained around nine times a week and just loved it. But I also struggled with a reoccurring back injury, which ultimately made me give up the sport way before I was ready. And after this, I really struggled with exercise. My whole outlook on it changed. It was no longer a performance-based thing. It was suddenly switching into appearance. Especially around my age at the time of 16, I was suddenly much more concerned with my physical appearance rather than the amazing things that my body could do through sport. And when I stopped training so vigorously, I inevitably gained a little bit of weight. So I decided that I would go to the gym and do workouts by myself, but I never actually enjoyed them. For the next four years, I continued to yo-yo in a weird gym routine. I could never be consistent or stick with it. I would train really consistently for a few weeks and then fall off because I just wasn't enjoying it anymore. And then I wouldn't return to the gym for a good few weeks or sometimes months. And I especially just never loved it as much as I love swimming. I did try and put in place some performance-based goals like doing my first chin-up because for some reason during swimming, even when I was the fittest in my life, I had never been able to do a chin-up. I just didn't have the right upper body strength. But anyway, I tried to implement these performance-based goals, but most of them just ended up being around my physique. And I truly believe this is why I could never maintain my exercise regime. Most of my goals were appearance focused, which I never actually found fulfilling or even accurately measurable. There were times where I did gain muscle and lose fat like I wanted, but this never left me feeling fulfilled or happy. And I never had the motivation to continue down this path either. But then in early 2019, I discovered rock climbing. Louis and I were actually looking for little fun activities that we could do on the weekend that would get us out and about and moving because we both love physical activity of any kind and we decided to try rock climbing. And we both fell in love with it immediately and quickly signed ourselves up for memberships. And let me tell you, <laughs> 
The first six months were awesome, rewarding, but also incredibly, incredibly rough. As expected, I didn't have the ideal body composition for climbing because I'd never done it before, which led to a lot of frustration. My upper body wasn't strong enough, my core sucked, and my finger strength was the worst of all. My flexibility was the one thing I had in my favor, but because I enjoyed climbing so much, I had the drive to work on all of these things. For those first three months, I mostly just climbed with ropes. Then I started bouldering more. And with this, I had to work on my fear of heights and falling, something I am definitely still working on. My point is, I first fell in love with climbing because I found it to be really fun. And I didn't feel like I was just working out just to work out. But like any sport, I had to work at it, which is not always an easy thing to do. But if I am working on something that I love, that I enjoy and that makes me happy, it is all so, so worth it. Now, just over a year into my climbing journey, I climb three to four times a week, go to fitness classes two to three times a week, do yoga every day, stretch every day, and try and do anything else I can to improve my form. There is still so, so, so much room for improvement, both mentally and physically, but I am so keen to put in the work. Climbing isn't a chore. I never dread going, and I find it ridiculously easy to get myself to classes and climbing sessions every week. And most importantly, I am no longer focused on my appearance. I am climbing and attending these classes because I want to improve my performance because I love climbing. Finding a sport that you enjoy is something I want to help everyone and anyone I can with. It goes back to what I was saying before. If you are choosing to do something from a positive place, you will see positive results. You will look at your body with gratitude because it allows you to do what you love. You appreciate it. You will look forward to going and you'll try to find even more time to fit it into your schedule. You will push yourself because you want to see improvements in your performance, reach milestones and achieve your goals. Your mindset will be positive and you will be much more likely to make smarter food choices. And when you do want those unhealthier food options, you will consume them guilt free. You love what your body can do and feed it from a place of love. You don't have to train every day or compete at a high level at your sport. It doesn't have to be a team sport or individual. It doesn't even really have to be considered a sport. Your sport can be walking your dog, shooting hoops, jumping on a trampoline, anything that gets you moving. The most important thing about your sport is that you love it, you look forward to it, and that it makes you feel great. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If we can shift our mindset from appearance based to performance base, I believe that will remove so much negativity from our lives and we will have so much more room for love, positivity, enjoyment, and happiness. Exercise has the ability to improve our mood, health, well being, and relationships. And if we're not enjoying it, I really think that we're missing the point. I hope this video has inspired you to find your own sport or to just have the desire to fall in love with exercise because it seriously is possible. If you already know your sport, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already found it, but now are really excited to go and find it, please let me know what you're going to try. I would love to know both of those things in the comments below. I upload new videos every Thursday and I really, really cannot wait to see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all. Bye.